Some ingenuity on the part of a doctor at the University of Florida could save lives as well. He has designed a new mask made out of materials usually found at any hospital or surgical facility. And here's the kicker. The doctor and his team believe this mask could be a game changer in protecting people from coronavirus. On your side's David Jones spoke with him today about the concept gaining traction now around the world. I think this idea could save hundreds of thousands of lives worldwide. If it saves one life, it's been worthwhile. Dr. Bruce Spies had been racking his brain, trying to think of alternatives to the hard to come by N95 masks. Then it hit him. As I looked at it, I thought, you know, we're throwing away all this wonderful material that's right in front of our eyes. The wrapping used to protect surgical equipment after it's been sterilized. Spies studied the material and found it could be more effective than the N95 masks. And at the very least, much more effective than normal surgical masks. The idea was to take two sheets and sew them together, making an impervious mask that can keep out 99.9% .9 of particles. Within three days, we had prototypes. Within four days of my idea, we probably had 100 volunteers working. In the short term, they plan to get two masks to every staff member at Shands, along with first responders in the area. Spies says the hospital uses somewhere between 600 to 1,000 sheets of the stuff every day. I can't tell you how important it is to me that I trained as a physician, and I trained as a physician to help my fellow mankind. The material is so common in other facilities, Spies has been getting calls from around the world just in the past 48 hours. He's even had major clothing retailers offer to convert their factories to make the masks. To find people embracing it, to spread the issue around the world, I can't stop my brain from running. It's just fantastic. Spies and his team want to have 5,000 masks by Wednesday. After that, the goal is 5,000 to 10,000 a week, with the hope to eventually give them out to the community. This as the mask continues to gain worldwide attention. 50 to 100 million of these masks being needed within days to weeks. The, the only way you can produce that is like this little cottage industry of, of everybody pitching in. David Jones, First Coast News, on your side.